Hey everybody, I'm here with Mike McCara from Real Office 360. Welcome to the show, Mike. Thanks for having me, Lindsay. So we wanted to do this uh, because Mike has developed a very, very cool CRM software. And Mike is the CEO Correct. of Real Office 360. And Mike is also the husband of Chloe McCara. Chloe's better half. Yes, yes. Better, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll post up a poll on that later and, and you guys can vote on that. Um, but I actually had connections with Mike long before we, Chloe came on as one of our managers. We looked at uh, a previous version of the software together. We've um, done a ton of different things. And I wanted to bring Mike on now because you have created an extraordinarily beautiful CRM. <laughs> the team, the elegant, team. Yeah. El elegant, and also it, is, it works so, so well for tracking relationships with your clients and we would be remiss by not introducing it to you guys. And I know a lot of you guys use prospects out there yep. and I have nothing but great things to say about prospects, but we also want to introduce you to this, another free platform that is market, market agnostic and has a really cool niche for you guys, which Mike will talk about. So Mike, yep. first of all, um, thank you for bringing this out and My uh, pleasure, giving us yeah. some time. Um, how did you guys come up with the Real Office 360 concept? What was it born out of? Absolutely. So, so ultimately it came from looking to run a business from a relationship point of view as an agent. And back three, four years ago, the way that that was done was through Excel spreadsheets, uh, your Google Calendar, um, giving your clients binders to sit down and do annual reviews. And we thought that if it works so well, and a lot of people are starting to adhere to this more relationship style of business, why not try and build something for those agents that want to run their business that way? The cool part is that also really works well for agents that are just starting out, nice. that don't have a database of 1,000 people or 2,000 people, and just want to work with their sphere of influence. So when we looked at the market, and you see that there's those you know, 60 to 70 different CRMs out there, they've all sort of positioned themselves on the more established agent that's looking to do a lot of the automation, so a lot of the email marketing, which is all great stuff, but we wanted to do something a little bit different. And so that's ultimately where this came out of. And you'll see that from everything that we've done from the interface and the design to even the pricing was starting our initial plan free for life. Nice, yeah. nice. That's outstanding, that's outstanding. Well, I'll tell you what, um, let's get right into it. Absolutely. We'll, we'll talk about how people can get involved in a second here, but let's get in and show some people some of the features. For sure, so I, I get to sit down with agents all the time. And I know that I've got to keep this short and to the point and I have to use a real example. So we're going to pretend okay. that you are a potential buyer. Perfect. You're, you're an old friend and this is how I would use it because a lot of people, you know, they've got their, their systems, but it's easier just to start fresh. Fantastic. Right? So you're somebody that I know I want to, I want to you know, talk to, right? Okay. You might be, might be looking at buying. So I log into Real Office 360 and this is what I see. I've got my sort of standard uh, CRM list view and you'll see there's an example client in there. You've got these big buttons. You've got add contact, import from CSV. So again, if you're more tech savvy, that's where you can bring your spreadsheets in. Or you can sync from your Google Contacts, which would be great for you guys. I didn't even know Google Contacts. I was pulling all my contacts together. Yeah. didn't even know it existed. <laughs> um, so that's a win. Some people should log in that's and right. take a look. That's like, right. oh, so I know just, 500 people. Look at that. That's right. So, you know, great place to start. So anyways, I log in. This is what I see. I'm going to just start fresh. So I click add contact and add first name. Okay, so let's see here. Lindsay, oops, maybe spell it correctly. And then I'm going to put in your last name, not Lindsay Lindsay, but Smith, Smith. And we're just going to create that contact. So just like that, first name, last name, I've been able to add you into my database. Perfect. That's pretty pain free, pretty simple. So basically what you're looking at right now is everything you need to know about your client. And we've tried to make it really clean, really simple, so it's not overwhelming. So at the top, we've got these sort of reminders. So when you're doing a relationship style of business, what are two key things that you need to do? Well, number one, you need to keep in touch. And number two, you should probably not miss like a birthday. Totally. Right? Those are, those are, let's, let's leave it there. So that's why at the reminders, you've got two options. Don't remind me to follow up. Well, maybe I do want to be f reminded. So you can set a frequency. So I want to be reminded by the system to follow up. Now it's not going to automate that follow up. It's just going to remind me. So I'm going to do that every three months. And I'm going to start that from, well, not today, because we're going to go for a coffee today. But let's say maybe, um, you know, on the 25th of December. So it'll start three months out from that. Perfect. So we'll do that. So all of a sudden I do that. And that now has been set in the system. So that was pretty pain free. Birthday. All right, well, you're spring chicken here, so you know, you were probably born in like what, 2000? Maybe 19, <laughs> yeah. 1995? Okay, maybe, maybe March 6, 96? Uh, that's actually pretty close. Okay, well, perfect. Not, the, not, not the 96 well, part, but well, the March okay. 6 part. So just like that, two clicks, perfect. three clicks. I've been able to automate a reminder to reach out with you every three months, and now this is going to tell me when it's your birthday. Just like that. On this on the side here, we've got a thing called opportunities. What is an opportunity, you might ask? Well, if you're a ninja person, these are people that are in your warm list, your hot list. 
if you're a lead gen person, this is your leads that are coming in. Whatever you want to call it, we've broken it down into a lead and a prospect. Perfect. Which then transitions into someone we call active, which is under contract, buyer contract, under listing contract, and then obviously conditional, firm. Those are all the different stages. But you're a buyer, so I'm just going to click buyer. And then lead stage, I don't know, I, I know you, but let's go to maybe prospect stage. So it's lead first and then prospect. That's how we've built it. That's okay. right, yeah. And actually from an oil and gas background, that's how you actually rank prospects to drill, believe nice. it or not. Yeah, so real estate, oil and gas, the city. Perfect. Throw that out at your next accounting or engineer <laughs> client. They'll actually get a kick out of it. Um, so then we've got some basic info on the side. I don't need to go through it, but you can quickly add their phone number, email, an address, all that good stuff. And then this last one here is groups. So this is A-list, B-list, hockey team, uh, past colleagues, whatever you want to do. Fully customizable. On the free, you can create up to 10 custom groups. Nice. Which are great for filtering, sorting, and then long-term printing, say, labels. You only want to mail out, say, you know, your A-list or something like that. So if I want to add a group, you just simply click in here. It's going to look if you have any existing groups. I have none, so I click to create, and just like that, I have my A-list. So I've been able to add a couple reminders, I've been able to group you, and I've created as an opportunity. So what does that mean? Well, before going into all these tabs, you can see that we've got a history, we've got family, so if I want to add family in there, you can even add pets, a nice little <laughs> paw icon, which is kind of fun. Perfect. Properties, so if you know the properties, so if you're an investor, keeping track of that. Deals, any deals that I've done with you, it's going to track all that, and I'll show you how. This is more just like the meat and potatoes part of it, but it's not the fun part. So I'm going to get out of here, and we're going to show you what just happened. So, boom, you now appear. So you'll see that it says buyer and prospects. At the top, we've broken our program down into a few different sections. The first thing is the core database contacts area. The next one is your opportunities. So if I click on that, what we've tried to do is build a digital whiteboard for agents. Nice. So what I mean by that is every office where you have those whiteboards, what are the deals that are coming up? What are the deals that I currently have going on? What are my actives? Which ones are pending or conditional? We've built that in the cloud. And again, this is accessible on your mobile device, on your iPad, on your, on your computer, anywhere in the world, right? So you can be sipping a Mai Tai in Hawaii <laughs> and you know, working, working your system. So I've done a, a very little amount of stuff at this point, would you say? Yes. Probably a fair assessment. Totally agree. So <clears throat> what it's telling me when I log in now is, hey, I should probably follow up with Lindsay. But what could I do? You'll notice that at the bottom of this, I've got this preview meeting, go for CO. Well, what's that? If I click on it, you'll see that what we've built, if I can click on it, there we go. You see what we've built is a, is a predetermined set of checklists for each stage and type of deal. So for buyers, they have different checklists. For sellers, they have different checklists. For referrals, they have different checklists. On free, those are default set. On the paid versions, you can customize those whatever you want. So if you have the same thing you do with every listing, every buyer consultation, you can set these up. And now it's not going to send you a ton of reminders that you have to do it, but it's saying, hey, you could do these things. Do you want to set those reminders? Yeah, so it's like an action plan. That's it right. It's, it's like, if you think about it, it's the paper version made digital, but you still have to take an action, right? Yes. And that's that whole core, I'm a relationship-based agent, and I want to still take that action myself. I want to engage with the, with, the, um, with the client. Yeah. So here's my list of things, and you'll see that one of them is preview meeting, or uh, previewing meetings. So if you're a buyer, go for a coffee with Lindsay Smith. So I could just simply click on the, this dots. I can schedule that for today. I can schedule it for later. If I've already done it, I can mark it as done. But I'm going to schedule it for today, and we'll just walk through what that, what that looks like. So right there, it's now something that I have to do today. Right? Yeah. So what does that look like going forward? So if I close out of this, You'll see that at the bottom it now says, do today, I need to go for a coffee. Well, if I go to my daily planner, so what's a daily planner? It's those clunky big planners that we all carry on a paper <laughs> version with everything that you need to do today. So here's what I have to do. I have to do a previewing meeting with you. If we go for that coffee, we haven't set a time, you'll notice. If you go over here, you can see which client it's with. There's Lindsay. You'll see I also have this daily routine. So I again, love, love that sort of that synergy with the coaching. So did I write my two personal notes today? Well, maybe I did one. Did I spend 30 minutes in the database? Well, you're spending a little bit on the time on this video, so well, close enough. Did I call two of my prospects, my past clients? This is just that quick routine list that, again, if you're looking for things to get started with, we've built these default routines for you. You can customize it whatever way you want on the paid version. Nice. But again, we've curated all the industry coaching. I've even gone to Ninja. I've taken Buffini. I don't have my license anymore as an agent, yeah. but we did that to give you the best possible product to start. And by you, I mean new agents, relationship-based agents. Nice. And again, what I'm showing you all here is free. You'll also notice at the top that it says home anniversary, 
and contact example client. So those are just things that we're showing you. This is what it will look like when your client's home anniversaries come up, right? And what better way to reach out than when it's a home anniversary? Yeah. Hey, it's been a year since. Are you still loving the place? You know, maybe I do my pop by, whatever you want to do at that point in time. Schedule your annual review, etc. So basically, I've added Lindsay as a buyer. I've scheduled something to do with you. You're now in my daily planner. And if I want to take it a step further, we've got a whole bunch of other stuff, but I'm not going to drill into it. But if I go to the calendar view, there it is. There's the, there's the preview uh, meeting that I've got to go for you. I can simply click on the day as well here, pop it out. If I can learn how to work this computer, there we go. And this is what I've got to do today, right from the calendar. You know, so, I, I would <clears> say already that 90% of what agents need a CRM for has already been covered. Well, and, and this, this is why I wanted to stop right there. Yeah. Because that essentially, if you start adding people in, even one at a time, and just working them through, I, I wouldn't even call it a CRM, it's almost like a, a project management software, if yes. you will. It's, it's like, hey, here's what I have to do, and then it links to your to-do list. That's really it. Yes. And then everything else is kind of bells and whistles. Yeah, you know, when we talk about ninja concepts and taking someone through the, the warm list, the hot list, to an under contract, and working them through the, the, the tracking program, um, I love how simple you've made that, 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 that process. And, and that's, all, that's all completely free. Totally. Everything, everything I'm there. showing you is free. Absolutely so, everything. So what would someone get if they wanted the paid version? How does that work? Very, very simple. If you want to connect this to your Google accounts, the calendar, that's a paid feature. Okay. If you want, in Calgary, we've been able to integrate with the Calgary Real Estate Board for market stats. If you want those more advanced statistics, we can give you that on a paid plan. Um, but ultimately, it's metered usage. So we're looking at the uh, business tracker, the sales opportunities right now. On the free plan, you can track 10 concurrent deals at a given time. Perfect. Anything above that, you hit uh, what we call a paywall or where you need to upgrade. Okay. But as soon as you close a deal and, and put them in the bank, you know, possession occurs, they're no longer counted towards those 10, right? Or if that lead that you thought was a lead actually isn't a lead, just delete them out of here. They still live in your database, but they're not counted towards your 10. And the way that we've built this is so that in such a way that we want agents to be able to use the system and not feel like they can't afford to use it. Right. We want them to become so uh, effective with their business to the point where when time comes to pay, it's not a problem because you're getting all these checks in the banks from all your closings. Right. So there's two other th key things that I really want to show before, sure. we, before we snap out of this. So that one thing is, let's talk through the rest of the story. So Lindsay, okay. we've sat down, you're a prospect, and you know what? In the, in the fact of a meeting, you actually decided that you wanted to uh, buy a place. We put in the offer at coffee, best client ever, yep. and this, this I'm going to close you as a deal. Perfect. Love okay. It. So the coolest part about this, drag and drop. So I can drag you into active. I can drag you into conditional. But you are a closed deal. Or maybe you're firm. You're yes. firm. You're firm, right? So we'll go over there, and you'll see this little green money button pops up. So right now, you're firm deal. So this is before possession has occurred, right? So con or conditions are removed and possession's upcoming. So you'll, you'll see that we still have this to do because we have marked it as done, but, but you see below this, final walkthrough, deliver keys, drop off closing gift, all that stuff. Perfect. So as soon as I, I've marked that thing as done, final walkthrough is the next thing that's being suggested. Right? Perfect. But let's close the deal. So we fast forward possession date. Okay. I click the green money button. I like it. All right. Gives me the opportunity to put in all the information. What was the address of the property? What was the purchase price? So I'm gonna put in you know, 650. Our default commission estimate we've set to 5,000. You can change that. Okay. I'll show you where. And then on the possession date, it is, uh, because you're an awesome client, December 21st, the Friday. Great client to have. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to close this opportunity. I get some balloons, and you'll see that it's counted as a deal. So I've had one deal in 2018, 5,000 bucks worth. By the way, if you're showing this to your friends, you just click this little hide goals thing, and they won't know how much money you made. Perfect. Yeah. So if I click on deals, which is the same as clicking at deals at the top, you'll see this is all my deals for 2018. All the ones I've closed, all the ones I've maybe lost. So terminated, withdrawn, expired, all those good ones. Totally. Tracking there. This is totally exportable to Excel. Take it to your bookkeeper so you don't have to track all your deals in Excel. And for the agents that have a hard time keeping track of if they've gotten their commissions, we add this little check mark. Have I been paid? Yep. Or have I not been paid? No. So that way you can at a glance know exactly how much you've made, how much is coming in. Very, very clean, very simple. And the cool part is it's all going back to you as a client in the database. So it's tracking this history. So that's really, really powerful. You can set your goals and all that stuff, but that's more the, the ninja high level stuff. Um, and then lastly, lastly, okay, great, Mike. I've closed a deal, but where do I get the next one? If I go back to my contacts, I didn't show you this before. We have this relationships tab. 
basically what we've done, we've taken your database and we pull out people when it's time to contact them for purpose. Nice. We focused on three key things. When's their property anniversary? When's their birthday? And when is those keep in contact dates? So every three months. And just like everything, here's a checklist of things you can do. So you wake up in the morning, you know exactly. Who I you go to my relationships tab. Okay, here's, here's the upcoming home anniversaries this month. Here's the birthdays. Here are the people that I wanted to keep in contact every three months, six months, whatever. Take an action on them. You spend your 10, 15 minutes in here and you're facilitating that relation. You just keep going. And Perfect. that's what will feed your future deals. Perfect. Perfect. So, yeah. I, I absolutely love this. And I know that there's, there's so many agents out there who have not found the right CRM for themselves yet. Um, or, or they have one right now and they're thinking, you know, maybe it's time for a change. It's, it's an opportunity to explore something new. Um, I've been super, super impressed. And the fact, that, the fact that it's come from realtors That's right. um, is, I know that the, the depths of the people involved in the project have been, um, you know, tons and tons of depths of real estate background. Absolutely. Yep. So, um, so congratulations on that. And I just want to reiterate again, it's like, you know, before, long before Chloe became one of our managers, we've been, we've been looking at this software and it was overdue to bring Mike in to um, chat about that and give us a demo. So Mike, how do people get started? Um, how do they get involved? Absolutely. So just this big word right back there. Yep. Real Fire office. that into Google. Got it. And we are the first hit right there. You guys and are the first hit, actually. And yeah. I, was, I was amazed because I thought Thank you. You know, Microsoft <laughs> might come up, but nope. nope, you guys are the very first one. You ones. can even put a space between the office and the 360. Um, Google's smart like that. Uh, and you'll see there, and there's a get started free button, and you create your account. All it takes is your email and your first name and your last name. You create a password, and you're in. That's it. Simple as that. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. Well, you know, Mike, thank you so much for taking the time today. And if you guys have any questions about this, um, uh, is there contact information in the program? How do yeah. if people have any questions or what's the best way to do Absolutely. That? So as soon as you're in the program, one thing that I didn't really show, and maybe if you want to show the screen here, but there's a little question mark up in the top right corner. If you click on that, there's a contact us button. Perfect. So that's going to go to our entire team. And when I say that, it's probably going to come to me. So <laughs> perfect, perfect. Love so, it. So, you know, try not to do that at uh, 3 a.m. on a Saturday. but. Um, uh, all joking aside, no, that's probably the best way to do it because the okay. whole team monitors that and there's obviously a support center and all that good stuff. But, uh, and we're around the city, so yeah. Awesome. Mike, thank you so much again. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and my pleasure. And you know, we'll, we're, we're going to post this up online. You'll be watching it already if it's already posted online. <laughs> and um, if you guys have any questions, uh, get signed up and uh, take a look and start playing with a better way to manage your contacts. Thanks. Thanks.